I just have a feeling this video is going to be a mess. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing kind of a declutter video. I don't know how much I'm gonna declutter though. So today we are going to be working on the cubes behind me. Everything but the perfumes. I'm talking the top of it. I'm talking masks, setting sprays, lotions, brush cleaner stuff, all of it. Um, I have to go through all of it because I want to declutter it and like clean it up a little bit and organize it and just kind of get it more, it's just time to go through it, okay? So I'm filming this pretty early on, as you can tell, like if you can tell based on like nails and stuff. Um, it's currently November, it's like the beginning of November. And I'm doing my, every year I do a declutter series and I normally do it once per year. I've technically done declutter videos in 2021 um, my main portion of this declutter will be in 2022, and I don't know exactly when this one's going to go up. I'm pre-filming a couple of them. I'm literally doing my perfumes, my cubbies, and then my liquid lipsticks, and then possibly my eyeshadow palette, like, like my palettes this year, um, just because I want to start doing some project pans and stuff like that, and I want to get that taken care of. I'm debating if I want to do like a makeup collection before and after. I don't know. I don't really feel like there's like a point to that, honestly, but I know some people do. I don't know. Anyways, now I'm just rambling, but we're going to get the stuff decluttered. So if something has changed, like you'll be able to see these changes in early November, um, obviously, but we'll be making the changes today. And if something doesn't really make much sense, like timing wise, it's because this was pre-filmed and I honestly have zero clue when this video is going to go up. I just want to clean this off and I figured I'd go ahead and film it and I'm just gonna have to kind of figure out like when to put it up based on when I'm putting up other stuff. So does that make sense? Let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I don't actually have you on my tripod. I have you rested on something. Uh, so hopefully this works. We're gonna find out, aren't we? All right. Um, basically, this is my background. I took down the tapestry but it's like still over here hanging on the wall um I need to fully take that down and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I still have a couple of tapestries in the closet that I need to figure out we're gonna clean off this and make it less cluttered um I just did the perfume shelf I literally just did this and this will be a separate video so I'm gonna keep that how it is but we're gonna do this shelf this shelf this shelf and then the bottom four so I guess I guess we should just get started huh let's talk about the top first I have um, incense burners on the top but I don't like the incense burners being up there because I like to burn the incense on my table and I have too many I don't need four so I've got this adorable little Ouija mover thingy um, I got that at five below for three bucks so I'm gonna keep that and then I have this one which I'm also gonna keep and then I've got these two wooden ones I'm gonna donate these because I don't really ever use these. So those can go. I have a plant. I have my current candle that I'm burning. This is the Candy Air Be Your Own Sugar Daddy one. Oh, it's so good. My handbook for the recently deceased, my skull, I'm keeping all of that. I have two other candles up here. This is that birthday candle. I got this for my birthday, I think last year. For my mother-in-law, this has been one of my favorite candles, and this has been what I've been burning most of this year, but it is completely black on the top, and the candle itself is almost gone. And someone, I had actually switched this out, and then the video right before I switched it out, someone had commented on um, and said that they were scared my candle was going to shatter, which I get. I think it's about time for this one to, to get retired. It's a good candle, though. So I'm going to put this with my other candles, because I always use the leftover wax to make wax tarts. So I'm going to put this with my other candles, but that one's going to go. And then I have the, this little tiny nest bamboo, and I always burn this when I do my shot my samples. So I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to move it, because I have a different place that like my candles go to. Easy peasy. I also have this picture up here, which I love. And then I have these flowers, which I'm honestly debating because I have like some cute books up there, but I like those up there. Do I keep this flower down here? Do I get a different flower? I'm going to keep that up there for right now. Oh, look, matches. Matches. Okay. Um, I need to clean off the top of this, but I'm going to do like the cleaning of the top at the end. Oh, I also have my perfume tray. I should probably, I'll go ahead and clean it off now. I'll go I have to, I have to move my chair back and then I got to resize, but it's good for now. So let's move on to the cubbies. This cubby, I'm gonna do this cubby last actually, cause I wanna think, cause I don't love how it's set up. We'll come back to this one. This cubby, I've got these two. This is the Urban Decay Honey Scented Sparkling Body Powder. And then this is the Too Faced Kissable Body Shimmer 
the gingerbread one, right? Okay, so this one I've opened and I never use. The Urban Decay Honey, I have never even opened. And I want to be this person so bad, but I'm not this person. So honestly, I think it's time for these to go. And like they're cute little decor, but like it's just so unnecessary. So these are going to go. They're gone. I have my Polaroid, my pink Polaroid with a pink case. Um, I am going to keep this. So in my last like organization video um, is when I set these up and I did like cute little Cricut labels and stuff like that. This is my brush cleaner bin. Um, I like these little flip top bins from Target, but I have so much stuff in here and it's just unnecessary. Um, I've talked before, uh, especially on like Instagrams and in my empties about how sometimes I use regular bar soap to wash my brushes with, uh, especially if it's bar soap I'm trying to use up. So I have some of that, but then some of this really probably shouldn't be used to wash brushes. So I have some of the Method Body Simply Nourish Bar Soap. I feel like that would be okay. Um, so I'm going to keep those. And then I have a Grove um, Collab Lavender Soap Bar. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I have, uh, okay, I have this one from Lush. I don't know what this one is, but it's like hot pink. And the one that I'm using now is like a deep purple, but the color concerns me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pass that one along. This is a Lackey Naturals Lavender Black Charcoal Cleansing Bar. I'm going to pass that one along too. This is from Lush. It's a shooting star soap, but there's a lot of shimmer in it, and I've already tried that. It doesn't work great for washing brushes, so that one's going to go. This is like a snowball one from Lush. I'm going to pass that one along. And I don't, I don't use, like, bar soaps myself. I talked about this a lot in one of my empties where I was, um, where I actually had, like, a bar soap empty. I don't use bar soaps myself. The only time they ever get used in my house is in the guest bathroom, but most guests use liquid hand soap. So they just, like, they sit there forever and it just becomes this whole thing and they get gross and so I don't like to keep a lot of bar soaps. This is the fortune cookie soap do come in bar soap. It's cute but how am I gonna wash brushes on this? I'm gonna pass that one along. This is, is this from Lush? I think? It's going. And a lot of these are just old because I haven't used them in a while. This is like a bigger one. I'm just gonna, it's gonna go. I feel like the regular bar soaps are gonna be the best way to do it. I also have, oh and I've used this one before actually. Um, this is the Indie Goat Conditioning Goat Milk Beauty Bar. I don't like this one for brushes. I have used this one before. I don't like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along as well. I have a pear-shaped one. I'm going to pass that one along. This is the uh, Bath Bevy Yora Gem Citrus Berry Cherry Soap. The color concerns me. I don't want it to stain my brushes. I don't know if it would. I'm going to pass it along. I have other soaps. And then I have, I have so much brush cleanser. Um, I... These are all Beauty Blender solid um, blender cleansers. They're in, I have lavender and then I have unscented. Um, so many of them. And I love these, but they are pricey for like the amount that you get. These are my absolute favorites, so I'm going to um, keep these. And then I just got these from Shop Miss A. These are the AOA Argan Oil Brush Soaps. This is in strawberry, this is in mango. I haven't used these yet, but I want to. And these are $155 compared to like 16 or 18 for these. So I'm hoping that these work really well because if they do, well, I'm gonna get these. But I'm gonna keep both of these because I wanna try these out. And then I have <laughs> brush cleansing mats. I use brush cleansing mats every time I wash my brushes. So it's good to have extras. This one is like grimy as shit though. This one is, I think I've used this maybe once. This is from like the Target dollar spot and this is like a nice size one too. This is tiny. Um, this is uh, a really cute little watermelon one, but it's so tiny. And then this is another one of, I don't know where I got these from, but they're the same ones, but like, and these are the ones that I primarily use, which is why they're so dirty. And then I just got this. This is like the Sigma brush washing glove, um, which I want to use. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pass along the watermelon one because it's cute, but it's tiny. And there's only two different textures on here. And the reason I like these are because they've got a lot of different textures on them. And so it's easy to use. So that one's going to go ahead and go. I'm going to keep this uh, from Sigma. It's the Sigma Spa Express Brush Cleaning Glove. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know how I feel about the glove aspect, but I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna keep this big one because I have barely used it. And then with these, I'm gonna get rid of this one because this is like the older, really messed up one. I like these. All right, I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm just gonna try to like clean them. But for now, oh my God, it's perfect. Do you guys see how nicely it all fits in there? Oh my goodness, okay. Also though, I have <laughs> Castile soap. 
Castile, Castile, I don't know. Um, this is the one I, I like to use the Dr. Broders and I use these for uh, beauty blenders and for like cream product brushes, like foundation brushes and things like that. The one I'm using right now is the Hemp Eucalyptus. Um, I got this on clearance at TJ Maxx actually for nine bucks, which is I think like half off of what these regularly cost, but these last so long. I use a shit ton and they still last like a pretty long time. Um, but it's a good price, and I like these. They work really well for cleaning your brushes and stuff like that. This scent is not my favorite, but I'll use it. Like, I don't really care. And then I also have this one. This is the tea tree one, okay? Uh, so I'm keeping both of those. And then I have this. Where is it from? I don't remember. This is the Green Goo Castile Soap in Lavender. I have not tried this yet, but I'm going to keep it because obviously it's Castile Soap. Like, I'm gonna use it. It's the same shit as this. Okay, and then the other one is Body Shimmers. And someone actually said if you put them in there, you're never gonna use them. You're gonna forget they're there and you're never gonna use them. You were right. So I've got a whole bunch of shit in here. Um, I, I still have not touched it. So I'm gonna narrow it down. I'm gonna keep the stuff I really wanna try and then I'm gonna put it on top. And I'm going to pull something out to start using immediately. So many of these have cracked lids too. And I don't know why that bugs me as much as it does, but it really does. Is that leaking? Ew. Oh no. This should be fairly simple. I've never used these. I don't know if I like them or if I don't like them. Um, so we're just going to run through this. This is from Eloise. This is Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. I feel like, I feel like I should at the very least like try them to see if I even have a chance of enjoying them. Okay, that one I could get on board with. The cap is not broken. I'm telling you, the cap being broken irks the f out of me. This one, this one I will hang on to. Try it out. This is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk, illuminating milk for face and body in the shade Blind Date. I hate these droppers. Oh, I hate the droppers so much that it's gonna go. I can't stand it, it's gonna go. This is from Soul Body. This is the Shimmering Body Oil in Platinum. I'm just doing like basic, like just trying to get a feel for the color. Okay, this honestly reminds me of the Too Faced shimmer that I just got rid of. It's just straight up glitter. I wouldn't um, wear that on my legs, especially not in that shade. So this one in Platinum, I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. Why did I buy body shimmers of all things? Okay, this one is warm gold. This one does have a crack lid. I guess I could switch it out. Oh my God, see? The crazy thing to me, this is just shimmer. This is just shimmer. Why was I ever okay with this? Why was I ever like, oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna pass this one along. I'm never gonna wear that. This one is soft gold. This is like, it's so thin. Have they just, are these old now? Nope, that one's gonna go. This one is bronze. Doesn't even look like anything. That one's gonna go. Um, these are the shimmering dry oils. See, they're dry oils. Why? It's just shimmer. Okay, this is peach bellini. No, that one's gonna go. I never, when am I ever gonna wear that? This is in mint julep. Okay, I actually think that one's my favorite. <laughs> All right, mint julep I'm gonna keep. This one is my favorite. I'm gonna switch out the cap to one that's not cracked though. This is lemon drop. I think this is the one that leaked. That's cute, but I think it leaked because there's like no oil in this whatsoever. So that one's gonna go. And then the last soul body one over here is Opal Teeny. I like these little mini ones better, I think. All right, I'm gonna keep Opal Teeny too. So out of all of those, I'm keeping two. And I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five. I'm getting rid of six, I'm keeping two. What a waste, man. Ugh, okay. Um, this is the PYT Stardust. I want to like it so much, but what am I supposed to do with it? That one's gonna go. This is the Nabla Body Glow, body highlighter in Sugar Babe. See, I feel like, like this is really shimmery too, but I think that this is what I expected the Soul Bodies to be. I'm gonna keep this one, because I like this one. I'm not like, I don't have a shit ton of places to wear it too, but I like it. I like it a lot better than the Soul Body ones. I also have the Sol de Janeiro, um, a Panama Sunset Glow Oil. All right, I'm getting rid of this one too. I don't, I don't need it, I don't need it. Um, I also have the Cosmo Sun by Cosmopolitan Sun Lotion with Shimmer. This is the Ultra Glittering Instant Bronze Glow. Apply liberally, wash hands after. I just got this in, um... Have you... Do you see that? I'm keeping this. Oh, that was like an instant tan. That was like a tan in a bottle. And like it washes off. I'm gonna keep that. I have two of the Sonia Kashuk body blenders. I'm gonna keep those because those are always nice to have. And then ugh, I've never even used these. This is the Soul Body Kabuki brush. This got leaked on. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the packaging for sure. 
This is the Soul Rounded Kabuki Brush. Oh, that's nice. What is this? This is also the Body Kabuki Brush. Is this the same thing? Yeah, okay. So I have two of the Body Kabuki Brushes. I'm going to pass one of those along. I'm going to keep these two, but I'm going to take them out of their boxes. Um, because why do I have the boxes? So I'm going to keep these. So grand total, I am getting rid of several of these things, and I'm keeping very few, and this is the inside of my bin now. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of that. I like the basic layout of, um, like how the cubes are now. Like, I don't really want to change that. I just want to clean them up a little bit, and there's just a bunch of, like, unnecessary stuff on here. Now, I don't know, because I had... All the stuff that I had on there, I'm getting rid of now, except for the camera, but I don't know if the camera's gonna go in there. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now and we'll come back to it. Fine. All right, moving on. Let's talk about setting sprays. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of any of my setting sprays because y'all know me and setting sprays, but what I am gonna do is I am gonna pull them all down because either way they need to get like wiped off and cleaned and shit. Um, and this needs to get, okay, let's pull them all down. We'll talk about it. So I kind of do like a two-part storage for setting sprays. I keep them on this little um, stand that I got from Amazon. And then that kind of lifts up some of the ones in the back and then the rest of them just kind of go wherever they land. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these because that would be crazy and we'd be here all day. These are the setting sprays, um, not including the one that I'm currently using. And then I, I think I just got a new one, but I honestly cannot remember. So I don't know. These are the setting sprays that I, I have as of, as of filming, okay? Um, they go in this cubby. Yes, they all fit. How? I don't know. But I need to just kind of go through. There are a couple actually that I know I'm going to get rid of, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of like a whole lot. So I don't even know if I'd call this a declutter, but let's, let's go ahead and see. Okay. So I know for sure I'm keeping all of my Urban Decay ones because these are my absolute favorites. And the one that I'm using right now is like the Urban Decay Ultra Matte. So I have five total. This one's almost empty. I'm going to put these back though. Oh no, I have this one too. What is that? I have six six Urban Decay totals. That's so sad. I moved you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see. I have, I don't know how, I have three Tarte Stay Sprays, but I actually really like this setting spray too, so I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm going to keep them. And then I also have a Tarte Maracucha Miracle Mist setting spray, which I'm going to keep that one. Um, I have some Laura Geller Spackle Mist, the regular one, and then the Restore with coconut water, two of those. Um, I like these. I'm going to keep them. I like to try to keep on the shelves like bottles that look kind of the same. So I'm going to move on to Cover FX. The high performance setting spray I love. I've talked about it before. And then I have the mattifying setting spray, which I haven't used yet. So I'm going to keep both of these. And then I also have two of the Morphe continuous setting mists. I'm going to keep both of these because I like the spray. I don't like the brand, but I like the spray. It's a good setting mist. I get some of my bigger ones now and I'm going to put them in the back. So this is a Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is like the jumbo size. 100% I'm keeping this. If you're looking for a drugstore setting spray, this is the shit. I haven't even opened this yet. It, this is such a good setting spray. I've gone through so many bottles of this, so I finally ended up getting the jumbo size. Ofra Makeup Fixer. I hate this, like, sticker packaging, but the actual product is good. Um, I have the Catrice... Oh, shit. The Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I have this, and then I have a mini. I don't know if this is the full size or if this is, and this is, like, a jumbo size. I think this is the regular size, and this is a mini. I hate minis but I like the spray. Um, these are also both very good affordable like drugstore options. So I'm gonna be keeping both of these. Here's one I don't like. This is the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. I don't like this. It's not good. Um, it has a scent to it. I just can't get past it and I just don't feel like it does much. Like I don't think it sets anything. You can call it a refresh spray if you want, but I don't, not a fan. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. It is a 24 karat gold infused hydrate prime and set. I'm keeping this because it's just fancy as shit and it makes me feel bougie. The Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I have such mixed feelings about this. All in all, I do like it. Um, I don't love the scent, but it's not as atrocious as the Beauty Blender one, and I think this does a better job at setting your makeup, so I'm gonna keep this. Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. For how expensive this is, I don't like it. I don't think it's worth the price that it costs, um, but I have it, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass it along. Like, I'm gonna keep it, because it's, it's okay. It's just not... I don't like the spritz. I don't like the sprayer on it. The sprayer drives me crazy, but like it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna start with some smaller ones in the front. Oh, Scandinavia. Okay, so if you don't know, Scandinavia is who does Urban Decay setting spray. Um, they're done by the same brand. And these are like, I know I say Urban Decay is my favorite, but it's, and it is, but it's the same setting spray. This is the same shit as Urban Decay All Nighter. It's just in different packaging under a different brand name. But if you look on the Urban Decay setting spray bottles, it says by Scandinavia. So I have the makeup finishing spray and then the bridal version. The bridal version is almost empty. 
it's so good this will make your makeup last through anything including like outdoor concerts in arizona in the middle of the summer this is like amazing it is the absolute best but Scandinavia is not as easy to find as urban decay is so that's why i have more urban decays but these are holy grails i'm keeping both of these i also have the Too faced do you fresh glow setting spray it's not my favorite but it works so i don't again i don't like the scent but i'll keep it because it works this one this is a pacifica set and protect matte sheer setting mist all of these setting sprays that have like spf in them that are like sunscreen setting sprays there was another one and i can't remember who it was by um but it was the same thing it just they reek I don't like I think it's great but I don't like them enough I'm gonna pass this one along as well Smashbox photo finish obviously so good this is the a cosmetics your skin but better setting spray this is good too I have the revolution fix it glow dewy finish I don't think I've used this one yet but I want to so I'm gonna hang on to that one this is the iconic London prep prep set glow I've used this once and it was glorious so for sure I'm gonna keep it okay next up I have two from pure I have the lip mist which is the illuminating setting spray obviously I've used some of this and then I have the Haze Mist, which is a CBD replenishing facial setting spray. I have not tried this. Um, I like the Lip Mist. I want to try this one, so I'm going to keep both of these. I also have the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. I'm going to hang on to that one. There are very few setting sprays that I don't like. I have the ABH Dewy Set setting spray. This is one of my all-time favorites, too, for sure. I'm going to keep this. I love this stuff. I really want to get a second bottle of this because this one's almost gone. I have the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is supposed to have blue light protection. I have not tried this one yet, but I want to, so I'm keeping that. And then the Beauty Crop Cocoa Gold Mist Hydrating Setting Spray. I've used it a couple times. I'm still on the fence, so I'm going to hang on to it for now. I have the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I have not used this one very much either, so I'm going to keep that one. The ColourPop All Star. Honestly, I... I do not remember what I think about this one, which is funny because like I've used up a good portion of it. So I, I guess I like it. I honestly don't remember. I'm going to keep it. Um, I have the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I have not tried this one yet. It's still sealed, but I've heard really good things about this and I love the scent of coconut. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, the KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the Locket Makeup Setting Mist. This is the good setting mist. So I'm going to keep that one. The Ciate London Everyday Vacay uh, Setting Mist. I am going to hang on to this one as well. Okay, and then I have like a bunch of like small ones. Um, so this is from Shop Miss A. This is the A Plus setting spray. This was gifted to me and so far I like it so I'm gonna hang on to that one. This is a mini like two fluid ounce of the Ofra makeup fixer. I'm gonna keep this because it's a good setting spray. I have the Essence Fix and Last 18 hour setting spray. I actually really like this one too. I'm gonna keep that. NYX Dewy Finish is good. I'm gonna keep that. And then the Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD setting spray is actually pretty good too and I'm gonna keep that. So okay I got rid of two but honestly because I like basically collect setting sprays I feel like that's good and it's more than I normally do so I'm happy with it. Think about my hand creams, body lotions, and body oils now. Let's work on some of those. In this cubby down here, you guys see this one right here? Um, that's where I store lotions, body creams, hand creams, body oils, things like that. And I have two of these, one's a slightly smaller size, this is a big one. They're like these velvet photo boxes <laughs> and I got them from Home Goods forever ago. Okay. One has lotions, one has like hand creams. Okay. Um, oh my God, this is insane. And I have more lotions and shit upstairs that I need to go through. And then I've got some that don't even fit in here. So I guess let's go through this. So this has lotions and body oils in it. I like body oils. Um, I like lotions. Oh, I have the Indie Lee whipped body butter. This is brand new. 100% I'm keeping this. So that's like a for sure done deal. The Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Silky Body Butter. I've tried Pure Lease body butters before and I've actually quite liked them. This one won't close back up though, so that is going to go because I don't like that. The Elemis Muscleese Active Body Oil. Yes, I've been dying to try this, so I'm keeping that for sure. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Hemp Oil Calming Relief Body Oil. It's supposed to soothe irritation, increase hydration, improve texture and radiance. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because like I'm into it. Maybe, maybe. Um, this works deep sleep body cocoon. I love the this works deep sleep spray. So I'm definitely going to keep this because um, I want to try that out. Okay, Bath Bevy. This is the Heige Happy Body Lotion. Honestly, there have been so many Bath Bevy products that I have tried that I just have not liked. I'm going to pass this one along. Um, the Indie Lee Sleep Body Oil for sure keeping. No question. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream just has that scent. I cannot stand. I love this because it is like so thick and it works so well, but that scent, I'm gonna pass it along because I really don't, I love using it for the feeling of it, but beyond that, I hate using this because the smell just is, is that, 
I don't like it. I'm gonna pass it along. And that breaks my heart because this is one of my favorite lotions, but I cannot, I cannot stand that smell. So that one, it's gotta go. Um, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I have several of these in my medicine cabinet upstairs for after my showers. I'm keeping this as one of my favorites. I have, oh my God. It's so funny because literally Ulta just did this sale again and I almost did it. And I was like, no, I haven't used up the ones from last time. They're hemp's. Where, like, if you buy, if you spend, like, $25 or $50 or whatever on the website, you get, like, three full-size bottles of hemp. I have some. This is the original one. I like this lotion, so I'm keeping this one. And then I have the su the summer edition, because last time they did this was in the summer. Um, so this is sweet pineapple and honey melon, and this is original, but in the summer edition. And I'm going to keep both of these, because, again, these are, like, nice big bottles, and I like this lotion. This is the uh, refreshments. This is from Ipsy, their refreshments line. This was gifted to me. It's the Velvety Body Cream in Citrus Spritz. I've tried this a couple times so far. It smells so good, and I actually like the feeling of it, so I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, the Sila Cream Rose, I'm keeping it. It's so good. This is the Bath Bevy Mint Cocoa Body Butter. I'm gonna pass this one along. This is the Slee. I can't, there's words on this. The Radiant Skin Multi Cream. I feel like I was very excited when I got this. Okay, that actually feels really nice. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna toss the box. Why do I need the box? This is the Cottage Greenhouse Jasmine Plum and White Tea Body Oil. I'm keeping that one for sure. This is the Charisma Skincare Sheen Body Oil. Ooh, that looks so nice. I'm gonna keep that one. The Uni Gliding Light Illuminating Body Balm. I'm gonna keep that one because I've been wanting to try that. All of the Marine and Vine Tahitian Oil. I'm keeping it. I wanna try it. This is the Noto Agender Oil. I wanted to try that one too, actually. Grown Alchemist body creams. I'm keeping those. I've got a couple of Lush things. The Charity Pot Coin Naked Body Lotion. I, okay. I don't like the Charity Pot Lotion. I don't like the scent of it. Now nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that one along. Um, Tokyo Milk Light and Soul. This is a hand cream. You're not even supposed to be in here. We'll talk about you later. What is this? This is also from Lush. Oh, this is a massage bar. Why is it blue? I don't know why it's blue. That concerns me. I don't know if that's mold. I'm getting rid of it. That's going in the trash. All right. Um, oh, I also have the Soul Vanilla Dream body cream from Soul Body. I just got this and it smells like that fake vanilla that like I cannot stand. All right. I don't like the scent of that. I'm going to pass this one along. Um, at least now I know because I was really, I've been curious about this stuff. At least now I know that's not for me. And then the LXMI Pure Nalatica Melt, 100% I'm keeping. I just went on a whole rave about this. I freaking love it. Now I need to pu put all of these back. Oh, I also have this. This is the J.R. Watkins Sleep Body Oil Mist. I just got this and I've been wanting to try it. Um, so I will be keeping that as well. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to keep this oil or not. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. That one seems really nice. Oh my God, it looks so much better. Can we just... Thank you, okay. Lotions are done. I'm really happy with that and I really wanna use like every single one that's in there, so that's good. Now let's talk about hand creams. It's like a smaller box, um, but it's from the same place. I have, this is what it looks like and then I've got this one, I don't know why. Um, okay, I don't use hand creams a whole lot. Why I have a whole box of them, I don't fucking know. Let's see what we've got. We've got Grown Alchemist, that I will keep because Grown Alchemist is like stupid expensive and I love it. The Library of Flowers, this is the Field of Flowers. And again, I like these and I actually have one that I'm currently using. They're just so over the top fragranced. I can't smell that one though without opening it. But then I have this Tokyo Milk Light and Soul. I have Tokyo Milk Transformation. This is Lalia Wish. This Tokyo Milk um, and Soul, I'm gonna pass along. I don't like the scent of that at all. So that can go. This is the Tokyo Milk Transformation. I love the packaging of this. Oh my goodness. What is this? Mandarin Tuberose Amber and Earth White Clay. I don't like the scent of that very much. They're just so strong, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along too. I feel like I used to really like Tokyo Milk and Lalia and Library of Flowers. And I feel like now they're just so over the top scented. It kind of makes me nauseated a little bit. I'm gonna pass along those as well. This is, okay. I kept this. This is a Locketine hand cream. I kept this originally because I wanted to use it. Um, and I, kept, and I asked you guys, I was like, oh, it's not cruelty free though, is that okay? And everybody was like, yeah, you didn't pay for it. Like you didn't go out and buy it and pick it out. It's fine. I'm gonna toss it. Well, I'm not gonna toss it. I'm gonna pass it along though. Cause I, I don't wanna use non cruelty free products. So it's gone. There's so many just like little tubes here. 
This is the Skin Fix Eczema Plus Hand Repair Cream. I really want to try this, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and keep. This is the Ahava Special Size Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This shit is just old at this point. I'm going to pass that along. Probably toss it because it's old. This is the Spun Gel Coconut Verbena Hand Cream. I'm going to pass that one along. This is the Rituals Ritual of Dow Night Balm for the Hands. This one I'm going to hang on to. I just want something different, you know? The Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin Hand Cream. I'll hold on to that one because I like that scent. These are from Bath & Body Works. Uh, Shea Butter and White Tea and Sage. Okay, I'm going to keep that one too. Um, this is the Taraco Foot Cream and Sicilian Blood Orange. I'm going to keep this because I use foot cream. The Tula, I'm going to keep this because everything I've tried from Tula so far has been fabulous. And I can't imagine that's going to be much different. Okay, I have two of these Body Shop Hemp body creams or hand creams. I've tried this before and I'm not a big fan of it. So those both are going to go. This is the Bath and Body Works beach at the beach. It's at the beach. I just want to know like scent wise because the texture is good. Oh, I'm keeping that one. That one's good. Um, the, this is refreshments. This was also gifted to me by Ipsy. This is the luscious hand cream and citrus spritz. I'm going to hang on to this one too. This is the cake milk made candied oat milk cream. I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. It doesn't smell like anything anymore. And this is definitely one of my older ones. So that one's going to go. This is from Rituals. Um, this is the Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this scent. I'm gonna pass that one along. And then finally, the Cottage Greenhouse. That's so scented. I'm gonna pass it along. I just, I'm kind of over it. I don't know. The good news is though, is my hand cream drawer. I got rid of most of them. So I'm feeling very good about that. Thank you very much. I'm going to put these back um, and then we will move on. We are almost done. I'm kind of leaving decor for like last. So this one over here is like all decor. And then... This next shelf, I mean, we're going to come back to the, what's technically the next shelf. The shelf after that shelf is this big Sunny Cosmetics organizer filled with all of my sheet masks. Um, and if you guys have been watching me, then you know I'm not really using sheet masks. Like, I'm not buying them anymore, but I like sheet masks. And so when I get them in subscription boxes or whatever, I want to, I don't want to, like, waste them, right? So I am still using them. But now, like, I've had them for so long. And I haven't like been gravitating towards them. So I have set up a project pan on my Instagram where I'm trying to use up these sheet masks. What is going to go in this drawer when the sheet masks are all gone? I don't know, but there's so many of them. Um, so I'm not getting rid of any of these because they're all going in the project pan. Okay. The next section, can I bring you guys see this one right here? It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it works. I have my Funko Pops and I don't have very many. I literally have six because I feel like I've gotten rid of like most of the rest of them. This is all photo stuff and I have a photography bin in my closet so it's all gonna go in there because I don't know why it's over here. Um, but <laughs> I've gotten rid of most of my Funko Pops because I'm just, I don't, I don't know, I just don't like the clutter I guess. Like I have so many random like tiny things that like I collect or whatever. I don't really need to add to it. You know what I mean? Not with like Funko Pops. I only have these here. Um, these are my favorite though. And if you've been watching me for a while, you have probably seen them. They are my favorite. So these I am going to keep. Um, I have the Hocus Pocus. See if you can kind of get a better view there. I have the Hocus Pocus Sanderson sisters. So Mary, Sarah, and Winifred. And Hocus Pocus is like one of my favorite Halloween movies. So of course we have to have them. And then <laughs> I have the horror movie villains. So Jason Voorhees. Michael Myers, and then Freddy Krueger. And I don't know why, after all of my declutters and stuff, these guys always make it through. But now they're just like kind of part of my shelves. And I like having them here. Plus, buying the complete sets of these was actually kind of expensive. I don't know why. This section we haven't done yet. This section still needs some type of decor. You have setting sprays, and then like something needs to go right here. This looks great, decor, and then these are both done. So one, two, three okay that we still need to do but there's oh well one and two that we still need to do because we've technically done this it just needs something to do on top of it um and there's not much on these so let's run through them really quick i have this big vogue book i like this i love coffee table books like this and this is just like the covers okay so for sure i'm keeping this and i like having a cute little like stack right here i also have a ysl book and here's the thing i'm not particularly into ysl i wanted the louis vuitton book but the Louis Vuitton book is like $300. So I ended up getting YSL instead. And it's really pretty to still flip through. It's just not, I'm not like crazy about it. And then 
the dry bar guide to good hair for all this is like an actual like legit book I guess um, I'm keeping this one for sure like I like these books they're nice and then I have a small stack over there okay so then for instant stuff I have this and I don't use it okay it's really cute I just I don't use it um, so I'm gonna pass that one along I have these which are more incense okay I got these from five below they're the chill out premium incense serenity and then I have this like it's like ceramic, but it's like like a, a container, okay? And then I've got incense. Um, I was hoping, in all seriousness, that I could... I also have an Allen wrench in here. I don't know why. I was hoping that I would be able to maybe move the incense to like a cup or something, but honestly, I think I kind of like it like this. Just to have the incense in there it kind of makes sense. So that's how it was, and I think that that's how I'm going to keep it. And then just tuck that one back in there. But then this. So we still decluttered something. Good. This is one of those things that I was like, there's like nothing on this. What could I possibly declutter? I am so glad that I did. I want you to look at this. Pile. All the way back to when we did the damn soaps. Like, look at all of this. That's so insane. For a section where I was like, I'm not going to be able to declutter anything, you know? Oh my god, it's so good. So I am so thrilled. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more declutter videos coming soon. You may have already seen a whole bunch. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to post this. But thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Let me know what y'all think. Does it look better? Does it look nicer? I'm trying to get it a little bit less cluttered looking. I'm trying to just bring down the clutter, okay? The holidays always get me in a tizzy. The holidays in the summertime, I'm like, oh, we got to declutter. And then... I need to break the habits. We gotta break the habits. Okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great one.